here's our cope and drag two-part mold unlike the lost wax process where the wax would have been in there and melted away lost the removable pattern has been taken out there's a void in there our wheel shape this is our wheel and the reason that we're going to warm it up sand moulds aren't normally warmed up but we're, we're warming up because we've got a very small amount of metal relatively speaking 55 grams of bronze is all we've got all our crucible will hold and that's a small mass compared with the the mould and the metal will tend to solidify before it's actually fill, filled the details this is quite different to the to the ring shape where we've got a small amount of, of metal quickly filling the mould and we've got a nice big lump in the sprue there in the bottom to feed it down if you want all the metal that the crucible can contain in your job you can't have any feeder and you see there, there, there is, there's virtually no, no feeder at all and to give good filling without any weight on the top we're sucking from the bottom so we're using vacuum assist and I put a silicon bead around there to give us a seal I'm warming up the mould, the mould will, will um, go on at about 120 degrees we've got to handle it so uh, that, that, that's, that's quite enough in the sun because the outside that the, the brass um, flask will be getting on for 200 we're pumped up to about half, a, half an atmosphere lower than we do for uh, jewellery work because the sand is a big area and as you increase the area you rapidly increase the pressure and we don't want any chance of pulling and destroying the, the sand mould although we've got plenty of sand in there so about 15 inches of mercury half of one atmosphere is uh, what we're going to use to gulp the metal in. Right well I've taken the flask off the preheater adding a little graphite collar there just to make sure that uh, if I aim badly we don't get any splashes. Again remind you we've got half a bar of vacuum something to stir it, something to grab it with something to flux it and we're about ready of borax in there to brighten this up give it a stir and bring the bring the flocks out from the bottom your gloves aren't supposed to catch fire ready start to pour with the vacuum assist and job done as the uh, the cope you see all it provided was a nice flat surface
and you can see that we've got virtually no button on the top. All the metal is where we need it in the wheel. And we can now break it out. from the bottom and not surprisingly where the sand was hottest right in the spokes there it's it's hanging on well so I'll let it cool down just a little bit more and then we'll quench it and dig the sand out and see how our detail has come but we've got a nice profile around the tyre so it's, it's looking it's looking promising at the moment okay. okay we're just brushing up quickly to see what we've got and as I said before we've got a nice profile on the tyre to hold straight in the uh, in the lathe and the critical edge the, the the feathered edge of the spokes has gone right down into the crevices of the mold and she's done